A new report from the Nebraska Farm Bureau shows retaliatory tariffs imposed by U.S. trading partners in response to U.S. steel and aluminum tariffs have cut Nebraska farm level revenue between $700 million and $1 billion. That in 2018. Jay Rempe, Nebraska Farm Bureau senior economist, is co-sponsor and author of this report. ...into June that the markets for corn and soybean, the prices were trending upward. We had a couple things happen in June, though, that changed that course. One was the retaliatory tariffs were put in place, particularly China's retaliatory tariff on soybeans. That became effective July 6th. The other thing that happened, USDA came out with uh, its first production estimates that showed that we were going to have record crops in corn and soybeans. So when you look at USDA's price estimates in June, before all this happened, in their most recent price estimates, and you apply that, the difference in prices there, uh, there was a drop in, on corn of 30 cents and on soybeans $1.40 per bushel. Apply that to this year's production, Nebraska farmers, producers, their value of their crop production, they lost over a billion dollars, about $1.2 billion. And that's gonna have an impact on, on the economy. I wanted to focus on, absent everything else, what do the tariffs mean to the state's economy for these, for these commodities? Well, the report also shows that the retaliatory tariffs have cost the state of Nebraska between $164 million and $242 million in lost labor income, in addition to 4,100 to 6,000 jobs lost. That identifying the report losses in the report that was announced during today's annual convention of the Nebraska Farm Bureau that's taking place in Kearney. You'll hear more about this report as time goes on as they meet with members throughout tomorrow. I'm Susan Littlefield on the Rural Radio Network. This is Mike. Mike likes his car. Mike likes to save money. And Mike likes to breathe. So Mike fills up with E15 with 15% American ethanol. The clean octane in E15 gives Mike the performance he wants from his engine and the clean air he wants for his family. Better yet, E15 costs less at the pump. Higher octane, cleaner air, lower cost. E15 sure gives Mike a lot to like. Discover E15 with American ethanol.